explain this a little better and actually publish this to YouTube. Because, like, I mean, who's seen this, right? So basically what we're looking at is the 3D Liberator printed gun that you can make. This is actually the barrel. As you can see, there's a little bit of twist in there because uh, it's threaded. Uh, if, let's see. Let's open up one of the... Um, something else here. We were just looking at the grip. It should switch over, there we go, uh, to the actual grip of the gun. As you can see, um, it's scaled accurately. Uh, again, we were talking about how it's not going to, we're going to have to build rafters or set it on the side. Yeah, I uh, figure, you know, we can discuss it. Um, but yeah, the 3D print I think will fit better if you if you fold it over. Um, let's look at the firing pin. I mean, this this all seems like stuff that anybody could probably do with CAD. It's yeah, it's just like just models. Not like guns are super complicated. Well, this one is not an exciting print. Uh, <laughs> it's part of the firing pin. Uh, it's the firing pin brushing, so there's really not much there. Um, this one should be interesting. It is not. So I got some. Oh, hold on. That one could be interesting. For some reason, it didn't resize the this particular model. But that should be, I think, the frame, including the trigger guard. It's interesting. I could find the right scale here, but you can see all of the... Uh, oh, that's way too big. There we go. But you can see all the 3D printed holes User automatically. Entered your I mean, this channel. is really just going to be uh, plug and play. Uh, hello, Scotty. What's up, lovers? Uh, we are currently streaming on the old Twitch, if you want to look. It's very interesting. Uh, the Liberator handgun 3D print. Good luck. Print. It's, uh... Oh, link it, link so, it. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Senator32. And I figured I was going to cut this up and throw it on YouTube after because you really haven't seen anybody talk about this. So that's the, you know, the main body. A little out of proportion. I'd have to fix that up. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the spring. That's got to be crazy. Now, there's two different types of, um... Let's see. Two different types. Can you of, really 3D print a, a spring? You actually can. There's two different types of plastics that you can use. Um, and one of them is called ABS. And the other is uh, PLA. PLA is traditionally a little harder. But ABS actually has a springable quality to it. Uh, which is actually, uh, the maker about 2X can actually print that. Uh, so apparently you can. So that's uh, that's interesting how you'd print that. You know, it's not the world's best spring, but it's enough to uh, to do the function that it needs to do. Let's see. Get the trigger up. This one's actually pretty interesting. Once it loads, there it goes. It's uh, fairly simple. I mean, all these parts are very simple models, you know. There's a little bit of rays in the back, which will make for an interesting 3D print. In fact, it's actually not sitting on much, which will actually be fairly difficult. But, again, with some rafters that are sanded off later, uh, that won't be that hard. Uh, let's see. This one's called Bottom Cover. And it's um, totally unremarkable, a little square. <laughs> I guess it's got some some grooves in the bottom there, but uh, I don't know. It just looks like a square piece of plastic. Huh. Um, what else we got? Trigger spring.
Oh, this one's this one's a little more interesting. Huh. Anyway, it, it's just amazing how it's just incredibly simple parts. There's nothing here that's really revolutionary. Let's look at nothing, nothing overly complex in this world can't be made tremendously easier by breaking it down into smaller pieces. Yeah, and that's, I mean, this is just remarkably simple little pieces of plastic. Again, you know, the, the amount of rounds you could actually put through this, probably not a ton. But uh, what about? Uh, I the believe it's one you, to you, three. Oh, look at this. I can throw multiple things on the same uh, same sheet same sheet here. That's the pin that you literally print that goes in the um, grip. So if I throw the grip on... All right, this is getting interesting now. I've got it locked to the platform, so I can't pull it off, but there's the pin that would fit in that hole. And then, um, interesting, I should be able to throw, see, yeah, the frame for some reason on this model doesn't actually come in its size. So that'll be one of the difficulties of this particular print. So I'll have to um, scale this appropriately. But again, I've got it locked, so... Yeah, it's crazy. Throw in the threaded barrel right here. Yeah, it's just interesting. Again, I just hadn't seen anybody, you know, everyone talked about this online and in the news, and no one actually, like, showed the video of what all the actual model pieces look like. So, huzzah.